Oh yes, hi viewers, welcome back to another boxing review and my thoughts on who I think will be victorious in this match between Ilunga Junior Makebu versus Badu Jack. It's for the WBC World Cruiserweight title that uh, Ilunga Makebu currently has. Now, a big thanks just recently hit over 1,000 uh, subscribers, so really happy with that. And then hopefully, if things go okay, then maybe some monetization. So I expect to see ads in future videos but it's not I've not uh, got all the criteria at the minute but hopefully then thanks to you guys uh, these videos will hopefully be monetized in the future so a big thanks to everyone that's subscribed to my channel so Ilunga Makebu versus Badu Jack then Ilunga Makebu comes into this fight with a record of 29 victories. Only the two defeats. He has 25 knockouts to date. He boxes out of the southpaw stands with a height of 6 foot. Reach 74. He was actually born in Democratic Republic of Congo. He now resides in Johannesburg in South Africa. Let's have a look at a few of his fights then. In, he hasn't fought for a year, just over a year, 13 months. If you want to be uh, precise, it's been 13 months since he last fought. And I remember doing the... Uh, prediction of uh, Makebu versus Machunu and I think I had uh, I think I went for Makebu in that one yeah he, he won that by 12th round split decision and then a win against Oralan you know, uh, Duradola by 7th round TKO victory he has wins over Michael Sislak by 12 round unanimous decision and then you have to go back to 2016 when he last lost the fight to uh, Tony Bellew he got TKO'd by Tony Bellew in round number three in that one in 2016 and then his other loss was on his actual debut he lost his debut against Hello Unge. By, I think that's how it's pronounced. Yeah, by first round TKO victory. So only them two defeats then for Ilunga Makebu. His opponent Badu Jack. Will we all know about Badu Jack? Has a record of 27 wins with three defeats. He has three draws with 16 knockouts that gives him a K ratio of 48 percent he is now aged 39 stands orthodox with a height of 6 foot 1 reach 73 in his last fight he defeated Richard Rivera by 10th round split decision uh, a win against Dervin Kalina by fourth round TKO victory and then you have to go back to 2019 when he had two losses the first one against Marcus Brown by 12 round unanimous decision and then the next one against Jean Pascal so two good fighters he lost to he lost to Pascal by 12 round split decision the draws 
again another good opponent, Adonis Stevenson. He drew with him in 2018 after 12 rounds of boxing. And another draw against James DeGale by uh, 12th round. Majority draw. And then another draw in 2013 against Marco Antonio Periban. After 10 rounds, they drew in that one. A loss against Derek Edwards via first round TKO victory going to Derek Edwards. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, there, there is noticeable opponents. Jean Pascal, Marcus Brown losing to both of them. Devin Kalina he defeated him by fourth round TKO victory. Lucien Butte he defeated him when Lucien Butte was actually looks as though he got disqualified after twelve rounds in that one in two thousand and sixteen. So that's a big win against Butte. Lucien Butte, a good very good uh, fighter. And yeah, another noticeable win. If you go back to 2015, he defeated George Groves by 12th round split decision in 2015 for Badu Jack. So there's his noticeable wins. I'm going to say Badu Jack. I'm going to say Badu Jack wins this for the upset for that WBC title after. 12 rounds of boxing. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts. As always.